Hey everyone, I'm here in a woodworking shop and this is a builder's level setup on a tripod. In this video, I'll show you how to use this builder's level to establish elevations or difference in elevation, how to do the math with it and how to use the instrument if you need elevations for height of concrete pour, for example. The instrument does not need to be set up over a benchmark necessarily for this, a known point of reference. It could be set up anywhere on site to work out elevations from a known point of reference, that's a tape measure there along the edge of the garage door, to another point in space whose elevation needs to be known. So, without further ado, what are we talking about here? So we have one instrument that's been set up anywhere randomly on a tripod. The base has been leveled. The instrument is mounted in a way that the leveling screws, the position of these leveling screws line up with the legs on the tripod. And if you look through that side glass there, you can see that the fisheye bubble here is centered in the circle perfectly. We're gonna take a reading on the tape measure along the edge of the garage door. It is in millimeters. Well, centimeters if I want to be really accurate, mathematically speaking. Take a look at it. 106 centimeters, 157. I'm gonna need millimeters. So those are millimeter lines each. So that's 1,570 1, millimeters. So that would be where my nail is, 1,571 millimeters, 72, 73, 74, 75. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to take a reading here on this tape measure that's touching the concrete floor there. So we're going to determine the relative difference in elevation between the top of the slab there and the top of the slab over there at the other garage door. Other than that, the tape measure is just hanging like so. So that's one point of reference. The second point of reference is here on this tape measure, which is hanging conveniently the same way. It's got centimeters on it and millimeter hairlines. So same way, millimeters, I don't know. 165 centimeters, so that's 1650 millimeters, 1651, 52, 53, 54, 55. You get the idea. And it is also touching there. Okay, let's go back to the instrument. The instrument can be moved side to side by spinning this adjuster a little bit there side to side, rotate it side to side. Look through the lens here. This is gonna be rather finicky with this camera. Inside the instrument, there is a crosshair. When the lens is in the, both cameras there, those are the hairs, crosshairs. When the lens is in both cameras line up perfectly, like in this position, and I can hold the camera without touching the tripod and, sh and causing a shake in it. The reading here is between 161 and 162 centimeters. And it is on the eighth millimeter line. Okay, sorry about the shifting image. It's really difficult to hold them together. So 161 centimeters and eight millimeters is what I'm looking at with the crosshairs. Whew, that's difficult. Now, let me reposition this instrument. I'm using this little triangle up top here to find the tape measure somewhere there. When the little triangle is pointing, it is a difficult read as well. So the crosshair is there, just above the 160th centimeter line. I know it's tiny. If I could get closer, I would. 
but when you look through with your eyes you're gonna see there you're gonna see it a little closer so 160 centimeters plus four millimeters is what the horizontal cross, cross line is crossing on the tape measure i hope that makes sense yep four millimeters maybe three can be argued the cell phone in my hand and this dildo's level were never designed to work together if you pause the video 160 centimeters and three millimeters there so what you do with the numbers is fairly straightforward so the first reading was one six one eight this is known as the foresight no sorry changing my mind it's called a back sight so that's looking over a known reference point so backside abbreviated as bs no bs it's abbreviated like so the other one was 1603 and what you do is this was the four side spelled like so abbreviated as fs so the difference between them is that's a triangle that's a greek letter delta okay so difference in elevation that's what it stands for 8 minus 3 is 5, 1 minus nothing is 1, 16 minus 16 is nothing. The difference between them is 15 millimeters. So, which one is higher? Well, th there is a difference in elevation 15 millimeters between the top of the slab there and the top of the slab there where the tape measure directly touches it. So, which one is higher? Think it through. The bigger number doesn't mean higher. The bigger number means that the tape measure runs down further, okay? That's why the numbers which start at the end of the tape with zero, 1600, 1605, 1618, sorry, yeah, 1618, this spot is lower than that spot, okay? The bigger number doesn't mean that it's higher, it means that it's lower than this spot. Okay, so that's how the math works. It's fairly straightforward. Thank you very much for watching this long video and the finicky setup with the lens.